Prophetic Messages from the Lord Spoken by Shumrim bin Yeshua On the 9th, 2018, the, the Holy Spirit said, Be ready to be on the move, my people. For in these very end times, as the persecution rises, as it heats up, you will be constantly moving. Listen to this carefully. Everything you have will be only what you can carry. I repeat that again. Everything you have will be only what you can carry. I will lead and guide those who walk with me now. Those who walk in me with me. I will lead and guide into safe heavens. I will provide for them. I will feed them from my own hand. This will be times of little comfort and no rest. I am accelerating time. I have accelerated time and I am accelerating time again soon that these times may be shortened. That my children may come home to me, said the Lord Almighty. When I first read and listened to this, I highlighted on the 20th of October 2018. Two years on, the word of God came to pass. Of course, the persecution started a long time ago, but it wasn't this bad. And now, if the Armenia and Azerbaijan, they've been persecuted for their faith, for their belief in Christ, to do what is right, to live freely, freely, to love freely. They've been forced by explosion. They've been forced by war that happened without warning, as the word of God already said. Armenia lost the most. I will link those video below as well, but just to warn you though, it's heartbreaking stuff. I sit there and cry when I see it, because it just breaks my heart. We're living in the 21st century, but the people were acting like they're living in their old days, like during the World War One and World War Two. Do you know what I mean? And now, Ethiopia, the civil war that killed many, that nearly all of the people flee the country because of fear of safety. They've been persecuted for their faith in Christ. They've been persecuted to do what is right. They've been persecuted for freedom of speech. And so freedom of speech is just a word. It's not freedom of speech anymore. Those that had, had gun, had explosion, had bomb, had missile, have the power. But little do they know that their own life is at stake. And just in the blink of an eye, they could lose their own life. Then, there will be nothing for them left. There will be no time for them to repent. All they have is just that life, that breath of life within them. But they don't know that. I will link that video below too. So that we can understand what God is trying to say here. But the one that touched my heart the most when I first heard and read this is that when God said everything you have will be only what you can carry the people flee Ethiopia right now to live in the desert some woman with nothing with her except the clothes on her body some men with nothing but the backpack that they can carry the word of God already came to pass Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up all our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world right now that go through persecution for your name's sake. Father, please comfort them all. 
Provide for them, meet their needs every day, O oh God. Strengthen their faith in you, strengthen their heart in you. And lead them and guide them into safety, O oh Father. And protect them, God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood. And we pray your kingdom come, your will be done, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs>